The state meet for girls swimming and diving took place from November 15th to the 17th at the University of Minnesota Aquatic Center. The Sabre girls took second place at the end of the meet on Saturday. They amassed 175 points, just a meager three points ahead of the third place Scarlets from Visitation. Northfield won the meet with 223 points. The team was led by senior and captain Ellen Bloom. Ellen, who recently signed a letter of intent to swim at the U of M next year, finished first for the Sabres in the 200-yard individual medley and the 100-yard backstroke for the second consecutive year. Ellen was also on the third-place medley relay and runner-up 400 freestyle relay. Other standouts were sophomore Gabby Hagen, who was 11th in the 200-yard individual medley and 12th in the 100-yard butterfly. Fellow sophomore Kendra Raths finished in 14th place in the 500-yard freestyle, while Lindsay Martins took 13th in the 100-yard breaststroke. Jennifer Thompson, also a sophomore, was 16th in the 50-yard freestyle. Ninth grader Madison Molitor was the Sabres' only diver down at state, and she finished in 15th place with 274 points. The youngest of the Sabres was 7th grader Anna Ellis, who scored a handful of points by taking 6th place in the 100-yard backstroke, not far behind Bloom. She was also a member of the medley and 400-yard freestyle relays. The Sabres scored most of their points in the relays. Their third place medley was comprised of Anna Ellis, Lindsay Martins, Ellen Bloom, and senior captain Lauren Martins. The 200-yard freestyle relay of Thompson, Lauren and Lindsay Martins, and Hagen also took third place. The Sabres were behind visitation by one point going into the last event, the 400-yard freestyle relay. And with Bloom the anchor leg, they outtouched the Scarlets and Northfield for second place, which gave the Sabres the points they needed to finish in second place as a team. Sartell has long been a powerhouse when it comes to swimming, particularly in the last few years. With state championships in 2009 and 2011, along with third place finishes in 2008 and 10, it truly shows. The years ahead look as equally promising with young talent like Ellis and the experience of soon-to-be upperclassmen such as Martins, Hagen, Thompson, and Raths to lead the team. And though the familiar faces seen around the pool change over time, what will remain constant is the drive, passion, and ultimately success these girls have year after year. For Sabre Media, I'm Jack Kelly. Thanks for listening.